y'all welcome back to another girl talk friday i know i've been in here for about three weeks but today we're going to be talking about oh welcome to my new subscribers welcome to this channel you know we discuss everything here but today we're going to be talking about red flags while dating if you are currently dating somebody and you notice these red flags run I can tell you that. And let's just get into the first one. First red flag. They're always talking about their ex. Like, I don't think people understand how much of a turn off that is. I remember this time I was talking, well, you know, just talking. I didn't really know much that big dating. Talking to this guy. And the 80% of our conversation was just about his ex. How his ex doing bad. How she used him take his money and was spending on somebody else <laughs> listen all i was saying in my mind was yeah he ain't gotta worry about me no. i would block you right away and he reached out to me on facebook and i never responded because why am i gonna waste my time and somebody who just talks about that act for one it seems as though you have not healed from that situation as yet and i am healed so you know, I, I'm not going to date somebody who's still in their healing process because I come in healed, so I need you to be healed as well. So if you need therapy, go and get therapy so you can get over that. Number two. So this is uh, this is one of my big turn turnoffs. Sexual conversations very early on. I will break my finger blocking and I'm out my phone. I know that every man intends to have sex with a woman. Whether he has sex after they get married, whether that's his second conversation, fifth conversation with you, whatever it is, every man intends to have sex with a female that he may, you know, be dating. But if we just met yesterday and today you talking about, you know, you like, pushing those little slick remarks you know like sex sexual talks negative mm -mm. Mm -mm. and one thing i do not do is i don't tell a man that hey you know don't do this because i don't like this no you what i what i've learned over these past few years is you let a man talk let him say what he have to say let him be the person that he is don't try to change nobody. Let them be the person that they am, that they are, and let them reveal it to you. If you just let a man talk and all you hear him talking about very early on is sex, you already know his intentions right off the bat. So it's up to you of whether or not you would like to deal with that. But up to each his own. To each his own. My preference, I don't believe in having sexual conversations very early on in dating. Number three, he's never available. I know it's busy. <laughs> hear me out, ladies. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. A man that's always busy, never available. You don't want that. And I know people love their own lives, of course, definitely. But people who are interested in you will make time for you. Don't let nobody tell you that they cannot make time for you. We have 24 hours in a day. Even if that person reach out to you for an hour, that goes to show that they still have, they have some kind of interest in you. If a man is not reaching out to you or if he's always busy, one, he's talking to somebody else or he's just not interested in you as much as you are interested in him. My thing that I believe in is that you should allow the man be, to be more interested in you than you are in him. You know, every, I always say, everybody is different, but I believe that a man should be more interested in you than you are in him. If a man isn't showing you, if he isn't, he, if he's always busy, all the time, never available, don't message him saying, oh, you don't spend no time with me, oh, we don't ever spend no time together, don't do that. Don't do that. Why, why would you tell somebody, oh, you're not spending time with me? They know that they're not spending time with you. They know that. So you don't need to tell them that. What would end up happening if you, if you, you know, go ahead and do that? You'll always be the person initiating anything, any date, any conversation, 
like literally anything. So you just gotta let people be and take it for what it is and just walk away. Like don't don't pressure, don't pressure nobody. Number four, my very last point. It's the less let's see where this goes, guys. <laughs> if a man ever tell you that, um off the bat, you should already know. He ain't into nothing. Yeah. He telling you, he telling you off the bat, he isn't into nothing. He's not ready to commit. He don't want any titles. And he doesn't want any boundaries. So, this is the guy that wants to do everything like you're in a relationship. And I mean, as soon as you ask him what it'll be, he tell you straight off. I already told you that I said, let's see where this goes. And I wasn't really into nothing serious. I got a lot of male friends, you know, because I listen to them talk and I listen to them when they say, um, they tell a girl that they ain't looking for nothing serious. And then weeks later, they're seeing girl freaking out because, you know, he probably ain't calling us much or something like that. But he already stated his intentions from the get go. And I think... We as women have that really bad habit, and I had to get rid of that. I had to get rid of that some years ago because, no, no. Don't put yourself in that position. Men tell you directly, or they tell you indirectly, but they still would try their on. They still try their on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Share this video as well um also like the video and comment please because it helps to push the video out into the youtube algorithm um and i haven't posted any videos in the past two weeks so i would like to you know be in a suggested search bar so people can view my video and until next time you guys thank you for watching sweet like you